All right, so here's where we left off. So we missed one edge loop here. Let's uh, insert that uh, right about here and then move that in, in Y and snap it to this point here. And then we have to select uh, those two verts here and uh, shift select those two verts. And now we say merge. All right, so I have to um, tell you that in between my Maya uh, crashed. So if my object here looks slightly different than in the last video, yeah, that's the reason why, but I think it's, yeah, it's looking almost the same. So it has the same geometry at least. So now we have to um, put, in, put in some more edge loops. So I definitely know that we need one here and we need one here. Uh, bring that a little bit closer to the edge. Okay, and now hit uh, G, add one here and another one right behind it. And we want one here. Give this more definition. This point here. Can also go in and say we want to put in one here and one there. So with that, we can say, okay, we put in one here in front, like that. And now we go in and say we want to smooth that out, check it out, how it looks. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. So um, this cylind cylindrical shape here, that's not looking as I want it. So insert another edge loop here, up here, and down there. So what we should see now is, uh, yeah, that's, that's looking good. Okay, we take this one here. Um, another thing we could do is insert one edge loop here. Hit three. And then we might want to add one down there. So now uh, the issue that was here on, on that edge, that's been solved. So, okay, now let's go in and um, take care about the uh, front part. Before that, we take the whole object and um, duplicate that. So with that selected, hit Control D, then scale it negative one in X, negative one. Then we take both objects, um, like that and then combine those I mean it's always the same process here and then select the words and say merge so now we have one nice piece here so with that let's go in and say we want to check out how long this thing has to be so to do this rotate that guy and take all the vertices that are in front of that object bring it somewhere about here zoom in on that and yeah it, it tapers down um, all together but, but uh, the last front part here that starts where this line is and then it's, it's tapering down uh, in the end here okay so now let me bring this thing uh, uh, the rotation Y back to zero and let's check out the front part so first of all, we need to add in another edge loop here right behind uh, the first one we did here. And now, let me think for a second. So what we try to do now is we take um, a lattice. So select from the top view or the side view, doesn't matter. Um, all of those vertices and do not select the the last row of vertices here that edge edge loop and then uh, go to your animations tab here from polygons to animations and say create a deformer a lattice so i want to bring the outer parts back and i want the inside shape here i want that uh, yeah to stay in place so we need to insert uh, a few divisions on that lattice so go to the s divisions middle mouse and um, try something like yeah, 
think that should work fine uh, with the S divisions of 6. So let's try that out. So right click, lattice point, and um, select those four lattice points here and, and those so that you don't select the lattice points here in the center of that. And then uh, use the move tool and move that back to a point somewhere about here. That's looking good to me. So now let's deselect um, those so that you only have selected the outer lattice points. Bring it back. Could bring that back even more. Yeah, okay, so now let's check that out. Um, so select the object, go to object mode, hit uh, 3. It's looking looking good. Mm -hmm. What we could do now is to round this off. Let's uh, first of all delete the history and then uh, to shape it a little bit more. Let's go to the top view and go to vertex mode. Select all of those words. Move those back. Yeah. So I'm for now I leave it like it is right now. Let me check that out again in the smooth version. It's looking all right. Okay, so now what we also want to do is um, to taper that down in uh, this direction here. So yeah, we could go in and do this manually, but again, I'm using um, I'm using uh, the uh, uh, Jesus Christ. I'm using <laughs> the, the lattice deformer. Okay, so with all those words selected again, let's create another lattice. And let's uh, take those lattice points here and move those down. So that's not working uh, as I wanted, so let me undo that. Um, and let's go to the lattice here and let's uh, change the the divisions um, from that lattice. This time we want the T divisions like that. Yeah, and I think that's gonna work fine. So now let's select those two on top and bring that down. Alright, so I'm going with this one. So delete the history on that object and hit uh, 3. So okay, we have little problem here in front of that guy but that's um, yeah we can fix that inserting another edge loop here right in front hit a three to go to smooth yeah that fixed that problem that's looking cool and there is only one thing left to do with this guy so go to low poly view and then let's select um, go to the top view and let's select all the vertices of that um, inner part here. So I don't want to select um, fr um, verts from that cylinder. And now we take um, another lattice, create another deformer lattice. And then we want to insert some divisions again, uh, S divisions. So click on that middle mouse and bring it to 4, S divisions of 4, and then let's select um, here in the end some lattice points, uh, only the uh, lattice points um, at the outer edge here, and then let's scale those, those in, just a tiny bit so that it, that it tapers down, like that. Could taper down a little bit more. Okay, so um, I think I'm done with that. So select uh, the object and delete the history.